guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in yellow, and we are learning to solve algebraic equations, which include fractions. So key part of today's learning objective is we're taking it to the next step. Um, the equations we will be solving will have fractions. Some of those fractions won't be nice at all. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to jump straight into it and consider variations of it. So question number one. So let's say we've got 2x minus 4. That's the numerator. The denominator is 3. Let's say that fraction there is equal to x plus 1 over 7. So what we can do, or what we can see is we can see there's two fractions here. And our job is to go ahead and try to solve this. Um, so when you're dealing with fractions, you can't really get to the top or the numerators until you've unlocked them. So we must unlock the numerator and we do that by getting rid of the denominators so what we're going to do is we're actually going to just do the usual that's going to be divided by seven which means we times it by seven so i'm going to times this other side by seven and you'll see i'm actually going to do two steps at one time that divided by three i'm going to go times three and then i'm going to go times three here so the numerators times three divided by three cancel each other out times 7 divided by 7 cancel each other out and that leaves us with 7 and this is the important bit that is multiplying all of 2x minus 4 so make sure you put it in a bracket and then 3 and then same again make sure you put that x plus 1 in a bracket so you can basically see that 3 has gone to the other side as a times that 7 has also gone to the other side as times and that leaves us with the equation that we have now we then go ahead this looks like the equation we've done in an earlier video. We go ahead and expand. So that's going to be 14x minus 28. That there is equal to 3x plus 3. We then go ahead and group together our x's. So we're going to go minus 3x minus 3x. So 11x minus 28 is going to be equal to 3. We're then going to go plus 28. And then plus 28 over here. 11x will be equal to 31, and then final step, divide by 11, divide by 11, x will be equal to 33 over 11. So do you just realize that should have been 31 over 11, of course, and that is a um, two prime numbers, so we're not going to be able to simplify that at all. So that's the first example, and the trick is most of the questions we look at are probably going to end up like this double bracket step here. And we all know how to go ahead and solve those after that. So let's change pink, pink colors. Let's get into green. Um, let's have a look at our second example. So we've got five examples we want to look at today. Um, so maybe we'll do question number two. We'll start it down here. Um, a variation of this. Let's say we've got 2x plus 1 divided by 3. And that there is going to be equal to x minus 2. So this one's actually a bit easier than the earlier example because the right-hand side doesn't have a uh, denominator, but the left-hand side does. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go times 3, times 3 to get rid of those. So that's going to be 2x plus 1. And then don't forget, I've got to put the entire side in brackets. So you can see all of that is in brackets because the entire bit is being multiplied by 3. We then go ahead and simplify 2x plus 1 equals 3x minus 6. And then we're going to go minus 2x minus 2x, which means 1 is going to be equal to x minus 6. And then we're going to go plus 6 plus 6. 7 is equal to x. I know a few of us get annoyed when the x is on the other side, so let's switch that around to have our final answer of x equals 7. So that's the other variation of this type of question. Um, let's go through a few more examples. Um, let's start it over here. So question number three, 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 3, that there is equal to 9. So we can see the fraction on the left-hand side is a lot messier than the fraction we had on the earlier one over here. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of this entire denominator. So there's division. The opposite of division is multiplication. So I know this is going to look messy. But we're going to times that side by x plus 3. Because I've done that to that side, I must do it to the other side as well. So the denominator will be eliminated. So that's going to be 2x minus 1. That's going to be equal to 9 of x plus 
3. So what we can see is that denominator is basically moved to the other side as multiplication. We can then go ahead, just simplify, so we've got 9x plus 27, and that's 2x minus 1. On that side, we're going to go minus 2x minus 2x. We're getting rid of the 2x because it's smaller than the 9x. So that means minus 1 will be equal to 7x plus 27. We're then going to do minus 27 minus 27. So negative 28 is equal to 7x. And then final step, divide by 7, divide by 7, negative 4 is equal to x. And final portion, I'm just going to rewrite that um, to make sure the left has got the letter on it. So those are the first three questions we're going to look at. Um, hopefully it's making sense. All we can really see is it's, it's an extension of the algebra we're looking at. Except it's just a bit messier because we're dealing with fractions as well. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to be clearing the workings for two and three, and then we're going to get into our last two examples for this video. Hey guys, we're back. I've cleared all that working, and I've actually just realized we are only going to do one more example, um, but I'm going to make it a doozy to make up for that. So we're going to have 2x minus 5. That there is going to be divided by 7, and from that we're going to subtract 2x minus 1. That's going to be divided by 2, and that there will come to three as a result. So we can see here, this one's a bit different because we've had, normally had a, one thing on the left, one thing on the right. Now we've got two things on the left and one thing on the right. So they're just gonna be a bit more annoying. So the first step we wanna focus on when the questions look like this is we can't really like go divide by seven, divide by seven, um, because there's two different parts here. So we need to make this or simplify it to be a single fraction. Once it, that's done, we can then go ahead and carry on with our solving. So let's get that. So serious subtraction. So we're going to do the crisscross smiley face method. So the denominator is going to be 14 because 7 times 2 is 14. We're then going to cross this way. So it's going to be 2 and then in brackets 2x minus 5. And we're then going to subtract the other way 7 2x minus 1. And all of that comes to 3. We've then got a pretty messy numerator, so let's expand that and simplify it as much as we can. So 2x times 2, that's going to be equal to 4x. Then we've got minus 10. Then we've got minus 14x. And then we've got plus 7. All of that is divided by 14, which is equal to 3. We then go ahead, we still haven't quite simplified that top line. So we've got... Um, 4x minus 14x, that's going to be negative 10x. We're then going to go minus 3, because negative 10 plus 7 is minus 3. That there is divided by 14, which is equal to 3. And from here, that looks pretty similar to the first and second um, examples that we did. So let's just get rid of that divide by 14 by doing times 14 to both sides. So we've got negative 10x minus 3 is equal to 42. We're then going to get go plus 3, plus 3. So we've got negative 10x is equal to 45. We're then going to go divide by negative 10, divide by negative 10. That means x will be equal to negative 45 over 10. And if you keep simplifying that fraction, or I should actually work down the page, not across the page, um, we can see they have a 5 in common, so it's going to be negative 9 over 2. A few of us may be tempted to write that as a decimal, negative 4.5. That's all good, but just a reminder, I do prefer fractions in our answer. Um, so guys, hopefully you found these four examples using uh, algebraic equation skills to solve equations with fractions useful. Um, make sure you get the examples down, make sure you understand them step by step. And then most importantly, make sure we get into heaps of practice now.